Coldy obviously provided a tough uh, game on Saturday. Um, having gone up there away and lost, obviously we were pretty frustrated with how that one went. Um, and in the first half especially, we probably were a little bit off where we would like to be defensively. However, attacking wise, we were really pleased with our shape. From the first round losing at Coldy, I think it was just a game that we sort of penciled in in the calendar that we had to sort of um, almost pay back for what we did. Um, we had a good game, we scored a lot of points and I think we we're quite happy that we stopped them scoring any points in the second half and that sort of defensive effort. So I think the boys were really happy with the result and I think we're in good, in good stead for this coming game against Jersey. Let's go, drum. Got your boy. Yeah, down, boss. Crouch. Boy. Nice. Set. Hit. Nice job. Hold that, mate. Yeah, so once uh, full time came on Saturday, I think everyone's heads were pretty much switching towards Jersey. Um, I think it'd be fair to say that plenty of people have been looking forward to this fixture for a while now and probably it's the same for both camps. I think both sides have had really good seasons um, and that that's shown in the, the points uh, in the table. So. I think whoever comes out with the win on Saturday will probably be deserved win winners of the league. Um, but it's also a, a testament to Jersey and us. We've been both teams have been pretty consistent within the league, um, and I think it's fair to say that both sides have probably stood out um, among the rest. For myself, who's been out for such a long time, uh, it's exciting that it's almost that sort of finals atmosphere. Um, watching the boys in the last seasons um, doing well and winning and me being so hungry to be part of that to sort of um, participate and to do my job so I could physically be on the field and help the boys win the league and I have that opportunity this week and I'm going to take it with both hands so I'm quite excited for that. Yeah the plan for uh, the weekend will be obviously a little bit different because we'll obviously have to fly um, so we'll fly out Friday morning we're probably get some sort of team run or team walk through in Friday afternoon and then it'll be very much relaxing spending time together Friday night Saturday morning and then just getting our heads on Saturday midday for the game then and get over to the ground and get the warm up and get into the game All set then for a wonderful occasion. Ealing in black are going to be the side to get us underway. The ball with Shingler. And off we go. And Shingler goes long this time, taken out of the air by scrum half Mitchell. I don't think he'll take too long over it. No, happy to just step up a couple of steps. And it is the visitors who get the first three points on the board. Looking to hit back in what has a feeling of becoming a topsy-turvy first half. Ealing taking that early lead jersey, hitting back with a McHenry try. Spotting the gap in the defence. Is there a try in here for Ealing? Referee looking on towards the score. Yes, boys, yes, boys, yes, boys. 
So kick for the post is the decision and Stingler lines it up, short run up and not taking too long over it once he steadied himself. No problem from the fly half, through it goes.